Hello guys, welcome back to UK here. This is Port Royale 4. I'm not sure what this big green square is. Hopefully you can't see it in the video. But um, yes, tasks and treasure maps. I think this might very well be the last of the tutorials. We've pretty much learned everything we need to know. There's work waiting for you all over the Caribbean. Viceroys, towns, merchants, dodgy characters. They all have wishes. All looking for, all needing, all offering. And there are still some legendary and fabulously well-hidden treasures. You just have to keep your eyes open for such opportunities. Ooh. If your Viceroy Classy Shoe pinches, he will let you know where by a mark on his symbol. When you visit him, he will tell you all the details. What does that mean? If your Viceroy Classy Shoe pinches... What does that mean? <laughs> I don't understand. I am glad that you are here. You cannot accept or reject the Viceroy's wishes, because they are just wishes. Understood. If you just do what he says, he will notice, and you will be rewarded with a lot of fame. Okay. Now close the dialogue again. If okay. a town is short of a commodity or otherwise has had some kind of a problem for a long time, the town administration can post a task. Look north from Port Royal to Santiago, where the town offers such an order. Read it and accept it. Um, how do I accept it? Every time I move the mouse down here to click accept, it disappears. Have I got to press X on the keyboard? If you fulfill a town's oh. task, word gets around quickly and your fame increases. You will also learn seafarers' secrets and get to know new captain's tactics. In addition, these orders are often economically worthwhile because they often have to do with urgently needed deliveries of commodities. Okay, the X and the C thing, um, I just think it's a bit odd. Why not Q and E? That For me, that would work better. I'm just curious whether or not I can... Yeah, you can't change any of the key binds. Change key binding. Oh, you can. Okay, so... Uh, what was it? X and C. They're not in the list. <laughs> and also, you'll notice... And this is a development build, guys, so don't get too uh, upset about it. But you'll notice that... Um, th there are no <laughs> descriptions... Or anything and more interestingly than that there is no x or c in the list so you can change key binds for everything except for the things i want to change there is a q and an e already though so they're obviously bound to something else that's why they didn't pick those but i wonder what q and e is bound to hmm. we'll just have to wait until uh, full release i guess all right, let's continue. There are other opportunities in the world that you should not miss. For example, sometimes you can find castaways in the water or commodity stashes on the coast if your convoy is close enough. Nice. Take a convoy from Santiago and drive west along the coast. There, I have put a message in a bottle in the water for you to find and pick up. That's pretty cool. Take a convoy from Santiago. Yeah, okay. Um, this is Santiago. Take a convoy from Santiago and sail west along the coast. So, I'm not sure, I, I must be misunderstanding what he's saying. Is he asking me to take my convoy to Santiago? And then sail. Is that what he was asking me? Because I c it doesn't appear that I have a convoy at Santiago that I can do anything with. Massive shoulder fish. Is fishing a thing in this game? 
Let's have a look at the commodities. Uh, nope, okay, I can't... <laughs> I can't look at anything during the tutorial unless I'm told I can. Fair enough. Come on, ship. Get down, ship. Okay. So we're at Santiago. He wants us to go west. Along the coast. Let's do it. Let's go all the way west. And keep our eyes peeled. For, uh... Message in a bottle, yeah. Gotta be one here somewhere. I wonder if it's, like... Because I saw over here somewhere there's like a little cave area. I wonder if it's that. Or whether it's actually going to be in the water. Oh, what's this? I thought I saw something. Sail west along the coast. There I've put a message in a bottle in the water. It says in the water. Okay. Military. We should be fine. We should be fine. Afternoon. Good day, sir. We've got English flags on. They shouldn't attack us. That's good. Um. Yeah. And how closely should I be looking? Oh my god, there it is. So I was looking far too closely. Uh, oh, okay. Here is a bottle floating in the water. It seems like it contains a piece of treasure map. Except... Look, a part of a treasure map. There'll probably be more of these, and there are many ways to get to it. By the way, such pieces are always transferred to your journal. Cool. Where's my journal? Can't look at it. Now open the journal. Okay, and now I can open the it. treasure maps tab. Further parts of the treasure map are stored here. As soon as you have found the middle piece, you can go on a treasure hunt. A successful treasure hunt will greatly increase your fame in the Caribbean. I and bet. while we are in the journal, open the tab objectives. Your nation expects a lot from you. What exactly, you can read here. But you are free and independent. If you can do without the fame of your country, then these objectives are nothing more than recommendations. Roger will kill. So much for missions, wishes, opportunities, and fame. They will help you to build a villa by the sea. My school thanks you, as always, for your interest and hopes for a positive evaluation. Grab a bottle of rum on your way out. Thanks, Sam. This tutorial is now completed. Do you want to start the next tutorial right now? Naval battle training. Hell yes! Bit of naval battle training. Welcome to naval battle training. This is only an exercise. Whoever is sinking here does not end up as fish food and can try again any time. Oh look! Thought we killed you already, Calcio. Calico, Calcio, Calcium, whatever your name is. CJ, that's what we'll call you, CJ. Okay, uh, 50 fame if I defeat the pirate. He's got a lot much stronger. He's got nearly as many cannons as us. Less men. Okay, good. But we now know how to do the double barrel twisty thing. Maybe. So, let's... Uh, let's get in it. Oh, three and three. I've lost the advantage. Um, so, these are our, our boats. It's kind of frustrating a little bit that I can't sail in a straight line. I can only sail in straight lines like that and like that. But I can't 
sort of be straight there. I want to be straight on this icon. But we'll get over it. We'll, we'll get over that. That's that's fine. We're going to go for canister shots. Can I do this? Can I do a double whammy? Just wondering whether to do this guy first. Right, now, here is the problem. Rotate vessel, it says... See, look. Left click... Ah, that's how you do it. Right. So, I could turn the boat that way, fire on dude, that is a nasty ship right there. What have we got up here? Oh, we got different stuff. Maneuver enables any of your vessels to move one field without changing its direction. Pushing six additional maneuver points, uh, three additional movement points, ready to board. Grenade, the current vessel hurls a grenade in a two field range. It causes damage to the target field and all neighboring fields. Reload, okay, so we could reload, fire again. Now, what I would really like to do Damn it. Once you've clicked, you can't unclick, and that's a bit of a problem. Blast. That didn't go very well. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, what the hell? I thought he'd put my ship on fire there. Thankfully, not the case. All right, we're going to come in here. We're going to reduce the number of men that this guy has. I really want to double whammy this guy. Okay, let's go this way. thinking I might theoretically be able to turn around a little easier if I do that. He's out of range. Ah, sniggets. Can I fire on him now? No, that's... damn. That's a tricky skill. I'm going to have to learn that. This is not a good situation right here. We got no smoke. Oh, but he has gone and sat inside the fire. <laughs> what a buffoon. Okay. If I come and sail right between these two boys, and then rotate my ship like so... Damn. Damn. Okay. What? I took a critical hit on that one. Why? Right. Oh, we don't have a reload, do we? Do I have a grenade? Let me just read what this does again. The current vessel hurls a grenade in the two field range. It causes damage to the target field and all neighboring fields. So if I put it here, it's going to hurt all of these ships. 
that was a good move. I'm very happy with that. Okay, so let's... Contemplate turning around. I just cannot do it. Cannot figure out how to turn around and get a second shot off. Ah, it's so tricky. We also haven't got that 25% repair thing. See, he can do it so easily, and he's firing from a greater distance than we are. Why is that permitted? So we can only fire when we're right next to him. Which is incredibly annoying. Why do I need to move to fire on him? He's right there. See, we could have got a double whammy there. We could have gone here, got a shot off. <sighs> Frustrating game! Definitely there are some skills that need to be learnt. So. Right, I'm thinking if I come in here... Boom. Good damage. Boom. Good damage. Uh, and I still got two action points. Oh, cannon range. Hmm, no. Um, can I board? No. I've used that move. Okay. Oh, this is tricky. Okay, this ship is in a really bad state. Um, now, rather annoyingly, I can't get to that one right now. we do here only went and dodged it I don't think that was a particularly clever move. I should have boarded them. What does this do? The selected vessel gains six additional maneuver points. But I can't move. So how have I got... trying to figure this out as we go here so this guy I've got seven action points but I can't do anything blast I think he's going to get sunk. Oh, gosh. Dodged it, but still took a lot of hits. Right. 
Right, let's think about this. So... This guy can move. So if I come round this way... I'm looking at... I can't fire against him. Why? Oh dear. Okay, we've lost a ship. This is a lot harder than the first one. Um, well, I can't board him because... I can't board him because I need the ship. Why can't I fire? I don't understand. We've still got a broadside here. We've got no movement points. So that gives me extra movement points. Or action points, I think they're called. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. And I still have action points available. Why can't I board then? And I can't reload either. Hmm. There are some quirky, quirky, quirky things that I've yet to figure out. Round four. Is this my ship? See, now that's annoying because I tried to click on my ship and I ended up turning around. So that's really frustrating. They've got zero energy type thing going on there. Can I... So I can't board them. Damn it. Well, that's that... Irritation. Um... Three additional movement points, but only in the direction I'm facing. Okay, fine. Okay. That was a wasted turn, if ever I've seen one. Oh, he's got a health boost. That's really not helpful. And we're in big trouble. This is our main ship. Oh, no. Yeah, that's really not good. Um... I'm going to try something crazy. Boarding manoeuvre successful, so we'll, we won't lose the ship. And uh, that ship is now out of action. Oh gosh. Wow, that did a lot of damage to us. I think we're going to do the old grenade manoeuvre. That definitely worked out pretty darn well. Uh, we definitely want to hit this SOB. Let's board him with the 20% bonus. We could turn this around and win right at the point where it looked like we were going to lose. That's pretty cool. 
clearly I have a lot to learn in terms of combat. Did that work? Yes, nice. The enemy convoy has lost all vessels. You have boarded two vessels of the opponent. You have not been able to plunder any commodities because your opponent had none on board. Well, that's annoying. But we gained their ships, right? We now have four ships. So that's good. And one of them's a good ship. Brilliant. Oh, okay, there we go, guys. That was the final uh, tutorial. And... Um, Yes, we've got the achievement of Seafarer. I now feel like I know enough to start playing Port Royale 4. So if you would like to see some gameplay footage of this, then please hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and tell me what your thoughts are on the game so far. I think it looks pretty enjoyable. There are some bits that are definitely confusing me. Uh, certainly the combat thing looks very complicated and in terms of commodity trading and stuff i think that's just going to take time to really master but hopefully uh this is a game you're interested in i'm not allowed to put a review out until the embargo has passed but i can upload some gameplay footage and uh share my thoughts i guess as i play but certainly these are not reviews and all i've done so far is play the tutorial so i'm not even in a position to make a review right now but I would like to jump in and start a campaign, so if you'd like to see that, hit the like button now and leave me a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye for now.